I married Joe. What a girl, what a world, what a life. Oh, I married Joe. What a mind, love is blind, what a wife. Joan Davis. With Jim Backus in I Brad, I think that's the nicest wedding anniversary that we've spent yet. I do, too, dear. Mm -hmm. mm. Brad, I just had the silliest idea. Really, dear? Yes, I, I thought that you... <laughs> no, I can't tell you. Oh, come on. Well, I thought... <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Hi, lover. Don't you want to know? Well, yes, but you didn't seem to want to tell me. Well, I thought that maybe you'd like to carry me over the threshold like you did when we got married. Why not? <laughs> May uh, I have the pleasure, Mrs. Stevens? <laughs> oh, don't move. Oh, there we are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, darling, you're puffing. You didn't puff like that nine years ago. <laughs> well, I didn't have to nine years ago. Why not, dear? Well, you were much lighter then. Time certainly... D lighter? <laughs> well, honey, just because you're out of condition, don't blame me. Well, I admit that I'm slightly out of condition, but let's face it, dear, you put on a few pounds here and there. Here and where? Well, here and then, uh, where we used to live. Nine years ago, I weighed 114 pounds, and I weigh 114 pounds Johnny, today. I didn't mean a thing. 115 at the most. Oh, I love you just the way you are. 116 with clothes on. Well, to me, you're just perfect, dear. I may not be Miss America, but I'm certainly not Miss Flab. Oh, either. now, Joni. No. Oh, come on. It's our anniversary. Not until you apologize for making fun of me. But I wasn't making fun of you. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. All right, I apologize. For what? For making fun of you. You see, you admit it. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. I did no, I mean, that, That's not fair, John. No, you... I, I didn't mean that. As a matter of fact, when I pass the drugstore, the boys go... Look, Joan, I was telling Frank Miller just the other day, I said, Joan has a beautiful figure. And after I'm shopping, when I pass the drugstore, the boys go... Look, Frank Miller's just jealous, that's all. Do you realize that... I'll that prove it to you. I weigh no more than 116 pounds. Well, I don't care how much. Well, what does it say? <laughs> 123. You see, I told you that I... 123? Joan, there's nothing wrong with weighing 123. It's very becoming to you. But I can't weigh 123. I weigh 116. Uh, the scale must be wrong. Oh, I get it. You get what? Well, you're worried about your weight just because you've been asked to appear on television Saturday night. It's just vanity. <laughs> it is not. It's, it, it, it's, well, it's in the contract. In the contract? Yes. I'm supposed to endorse Gruber salad dressing and appear on their television show, and it's supposed to be non-fattening. And I'm supposed to be a charming housewife who, because she uses Gruber's, weighs no more now than she did when she was first married. Joan, you're just doing a commercial on television. You're not fighting a main event. Well, Brad, a contract is a contract. Joan, if you're so worried about being fat... Huh? Oh, I mean, I mean, the contract just don't go on television. But I have to. For endorsing the dressing, the program is going to donate $200 to my club's children's aid fund. And I was the one that was chosen to appear. Oh. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. What? I'll go on a diet. Psh! <laughs> Is uh, that your breakfast? 
<laughs> Eat hearty. <laughs> I told you I was going on a diet. I've got three days to lose uh, seven pounds. <laughs> <laughs> All finished. I moved it in here. How much to say now? Hmm? 123. But how can it when I eat such a light breakfast? <clears throat> Darn. Oh, Joni, come on, eat some more. No one can eat that little and live. I don't have to live. I have to get thin. You'll be riling us in no time. Oh, I will not. <laughs> that doesn't bother me at all. All it takes is a little willpower. Well, this is only your first meal on the diet. Wait until lunchtime. No, <laughs> it doesn't matter at all, dear. Once I make up my mind to something, that's it. Willpower. All right, all right, all right. Uh, and I'm not going to eat another bite until 12 o'clock sharp. And then, just a smidgen.
George, I've got the very thing for you right here. Multiple vitamin pills. Now, this is my own private formula, 17. Let me tell you that if you take these, that'll stimulate your appetite and you'll eat like a horse. I will? You certainly will. There's a lady came in the... Excuse me. Bergesheimer drug. Oh, hello, Mrs. Stevens. How are you? You want something to kill your appetite? Oh, oh you're on a diet. I see. Yes, well, I have the very thing right here. Yes. Some pills. Now, now don't, no, don't you get panicky. I'll get them over to you right away. And now, just for, just for a line a minute, I want to ask you, uh, what, what was that address of yours again? One... Thirty-three. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Stone Drive. Yeah. Uh, hold on just a minute. Joe! Joe? Yes, Mr. Hergesheimer. All right. Get that bottle over to Mrs. Stevens at 133 at Stone Drive right away. Hurry up. responding so quickly to Joan's request for an emergency meeting. But then, after all, we owe her our cooperation because she is contributing her entire fee to our club so that we may more fully carry on our charitable work. And now, without further ado, I turn the floor over to Joan Stevens who will, I'm sure, tell us what is on her mind with all the charm, wit, and graciousness which must have decided the Gruber non-fattening salad dressing company to select her as the one to endorse their product, <laughs> Joan Stephen. I quit. <laughs> Let us be orderly about this. After all, we must observe the rules of parliamentary... Joan, you can't do this thing. You can't do this, do you hear? I... I must observe order. I turn the floor over to discussion. Mabel. I would like to know what made Joan decide not to go through with it. Joan. Well, I... Uh... Uh, for private reasons. Harriet, I would like to know what private reasons. Joan? Personal private reasons. Mildred? I would like to know what personal private reasons. Joan? Secret personal private reasons. Sandy? I refuse to accept that. I refuse to accept her refusal. I refuse to accept her refusal of our refusal. I refuse to accept her refusal of my refusal of your refusal. And I can keep this up as long as you can. I object. I object to her objection. I protest. I protest her protest. Point of order. I point of order your point of order. Oh, girls, girls, please, girls, please, please, girls, please. Please. This 
is getting us nowhere. If Joan doesn't want to tell us her reason, she doesn't have to. But Joe and I want you to know, if we don't get that money, there will be a lot of underprivileged children who will get no privileges from us this month. Oh, gosh, I, I want to help those kids. You know that. But I... I... Well, I'm too fat! <gasps> oh, Joe! No. No. Hello, lover. Yes, who? <laughs> Stephen! Clatter, I'm sorry. I thought you know the one. Well. Hello, Johnny. You know, for a minute there, I thought that. Oh, Brad. Harry. Is, is anything wrong with Joan? Oh, of course not. Well, then where? Where is she? In the bedroom. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Joni! Joanne! I'm here, guys! Excuse me, Judge Stevens. Good evening, Bradley. Mabel. Hello, darling. Well, aren't you going to kiss me hello? Well, I've already kissed two wives hello tonight. Huh? Well, what is this, Joan? What's going on here? Oh, the most wonderful thing, Brad. The whole club is going to help me keep on my diet. The whole club? Uh-huh. You know, like Harriet's doing my shopping, and, and Clara is preparing your dinner so I won't be tempted by the smell and, and taste of food. And uh, uh, Mabel, she's watching me all the time. And, uh, well, you've heard of Alcoholics Anonymous for people who drink too much. Uh, well, this is for people who eat too much. Sort of a pig's anonymous. Well, don't you think you and the girls are carrying this thing a little too far? I mean, Dinner is all... ready. Wait. <laughs> Come on, Brad, for dinner. <laughs> This will keep you from smelling it. Think of those poor little underprivileged children, Joan. Picture a little baby, blue-eyed, blonde, and oh, so needy. I'm trying to, but all I can picture is a turkey. A blue-eyed turkey with blonde stuffing. And oh, so fat. I can't stand it. Easy, girl, easy. Fight it, Joan, fight. Think of those little children, Those honey. poor, poor children. My body lies over the ocean. My body. you know your part yet, Mrs. Stevens? Oh, yes, I, I think so. Mm, fine. Let's run through it once, shall we? Harry, would you give Mrs. Stevens a cue? Oh, sure. Mm. Now, what is it that's missing on this table? Well, perhaps Mrs. Stevens can tell us. Yes, I can, Mr. Martin. It's Gruber's salad dressing, of course. Oh, no, fine, <laughs> fine. Now, this is where you pick up the bottle and pour it all over the salad. Yes, I know. And I say, mmm, smells delicious. 
and it's non-fattening and just wonderful on salad. I, I, <laughs> now you stand there smiling while Mr. Martin takes the bottle from you and goes into his commercial. Yes, and, and then I leave. Yes, you walk over here and sit down. Okay, everybody, take your places. Oh, okay, boys, bring the table on. Wait a minute, Joe. Oh, 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 girls, I, I, I just can't thank you enough for everything that you've done for me because, well, I've been so hungry these past three days. And believe me, if I could have gotten my hands on any food, I, would, well, I guess I better not talk about food. And, Ten seconds, Mrs. Stevens. I got my Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Martin welcoming you to another Gruber salad dressing show. Now, ladies, look at this table. Take a good look. <laughs> Do you know how many thousands of calories there are lurking on this table, waiting, just waiting for you? <laughs> well, don't despair, ladies. There is a way for you to be slim, just like Mrs. Bradley J. Stevens here. A uh, bridal slim. Even though for the past nine years she's been the wife of our most eminent jurist and one of our town's most gracious and talented hostesses. <laughs> and that way is to avoid the high-calorie foods and to eat salads. <laughs> but we know that a salad is very uninteresting without salad dressing. And that usually means more calories, doesn't it, Mrs. Stevens? <laughs> Therefore, as complete as this table appears, something is missing. Something no self-respecting hostess would be without. Now, what is it that's missing from this table? Well, perhaps Mrs. Stevens can tell us. Uh, can't you tell us, Mrs. Stevens? Tell us what's missing from this table, Mrs. Stevens. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. It looks just great. Goobers. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, Gruber's uh, salad dressing, of course. Absolutely right, Mrs. Stevens. Gruber's salad dressing. Yes, and mmm, it smells... Mmm, <laughs> it smells delicious, and it's non-fattening. Kills your appetite, and it's just wonderful on salad. Well, thank you very much, Mrs. Stevens. Now, let... Thank you very much, Mrs. Stevens. Now, and it's they, great on hand, too. Mrs. Stevens. Make hair non fattening. Mrs. Stevens. On a non Kruger's salad dressing, ladies and gentlemen, has been proven non fattening by the National Society of Dietetics. Hey, Mrs. Stevens. No all elite, it's been proven by all the leading grocery stores as one of the finest salad dressings in Islam. Uh, chocolate treat. Greatest that you ever ate in my whole life. Chocolate cake. Gruber's. Gruber's. Oh, wonderful chocolate cake. And ladies, I'm cream puffs. It's delicious. <laughs> it's even good straight. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, Joni, doesn't this make you feel better? Check for two hundred dollars for the children. <laughs> yes, dear, but it still hurts all. Well, Johnny, what do you expect eating a whole banquet by yourself? <laughs> Please don't scold me, darling. I'm dying. Oh, you're not dying. You're just stuffed. <laughs> stuffed. <laughs> Joan, what are you doing? It's all oh, fresh. Oh, not that again. Oh. <laughs> 123, right back where I started. Oh, Brad, I gotta go on a diet. I mean it this time. Really, I need to think for a month because I... Uh, Brad, what are you doing, honey? Kiss me, Slim. Okay, that's all. <laughs> Oh, 